Hey, welcome back to the Secret Underground Lair. So today we're going to do a little bit of repair on this leg where we had the dowels that were positioned incorrectly and on the face. We're going to fix that. Then we're going to assemble the table. Did a dry fit in the last video. Things look good. We're ready to glue it all together uh, with some just fine finishing on some of the legs. That's what today's video is all about. got this clamped in place, the face is clamped in, made sure we got the top on the top, bottom on the bottom, a little spacer in place, we're ready to go. Those holes look a little better. Um, yeah, I'm pleased with that. It's funny, I had to put dowels in there, uh, plug them up. So we were drilling out part the dowel, part the wood, kind of a messy cut. cut. Also having to do with the spline that was in there too. So a mix of woods in that hole. We'll see how it turns out. And we'll drill here. It's a very scientific method for doing a depth gauge. I can see light at the bottom of that hole, which means I'm very close, but that's okay. All right, <clears throat> the next bit. The next bit that I want to do on these legs is to cut that little groove that I talked about at the very beginning that goes around every leg. So I'm going to take the legs apart, cut that groove, do a little bit of a sand on the edge. I won't run it through the router to get a quarter round, but I'm just going to sand off this edge just to get rid of the sharpness on it. And then we can do assembly. All right, I have the saw set up to make these little uh, uh, notches, a little decorative element. The blade is only set to go an eighth of an inch, so we're not taking much out of this at all. Stop block set here so that the leg is, is, is at exactly the right spot and we can be consistent. So I'll make a cut here, rotate the leg through all four sides, and then repeat the process on the other two legs that I have set on the table saw over here. So those cuts came out really well. I'm just going to take a, a piece of 120 grit sandpaper, actually 100 grit, and just uh, make a little pass there, clean up any fuzz that may be on that cut. I'm not looking to chamfer these edges at all, I just uh, want to get rid of the fuzz. And now I'm just going to uh, quickly do the edge to get rid of that sharp, sharp corner. Okay, <clears throat> we are ready for assembly. So I'm going to bring the table back over here, uh, and we'll do that on the on uh, this surface. <clears throat> All 
All right, here's, uh, here's how this uh, assembly operation is going to work. So the um, leg will obviously fit in with the two pieces. So I'm going to glue those uh, dowels up in the faces of the, uh, the surfaces of the face where they meet the leg. <clears throat> I've cut a piece of wood here that is going to be used to space the distance between the rear two legs. And of course the rear two legs will be um, put on with dowels and so on, like so. And once I have these guys put in place like that, I'm going to use the ratchet strap to bind them all together. Uh, the purpose of the wood back here is to kind of keep uh, keep the back end from collapsing in so all the pressure is going to be forced into the joint and push that right in tight. What could possibly go wrong? I also, you may notice I put plastic down. I I'm setting all this on top of the, of the table surface. Um, but I don't want glue to get on there. Um, I'm going to be attaching the leg assembly to the tabletop using a different mechanism. I'm not going to be gluing it on. Okay, <clears throat> ready for our ratchet strap. Let me give this one a little persuasion. <clears throat> a little bit of a problem on this leg. I think I can take care of post assembly. He just seems to be leaning in a little too much. 
should be able to correct it. There is some give <clears throat> that'll come from the flexing of this face, but the other challenge I have is that uh, this leg is wanting to go a little bit square, so I'm gonna try and drive a wedge in there just to kind of force it over a bit. may have some repair to do on this leg here, but uh, we'll see how this sets up. You're not really happy with that bit. In fact, I'm not happy with it enough. I'm going to release the clamp and try that again. Let's we'll see this member is coming apart. Okay. Not going quite as smoothly as I had hoped. Try tightening that up again. I've got some wedges in there now. Um, a little bit more in here yet. I'm going to take a little bit more off this wedge. That's giving me the desired effect. Okay, that brought that in tighter. As long as I can keep it there. Just gonna have to clamp that down, I think. crazy about this center joint so I'm gonna try another clamp on that <clears throat> all right we've got a chance to set up yeah I'm still thinking uh, sliding dovetail joints might have been a better approach but We'll give this a shot and see how it goes. I'll be back when that's had a chance to set. Alrighty, back from lunch. Taking the thing out of the clamps. And although I kind of like the overall look, I am not, not happy with this result. And I'm going to wind up redoing a whole bunch of this. So this particular join, it looks, it looks reasonably good actually. This one is nice, although we're out, we're slightly closer in here than we are up there, which means that the leg is on a bit of a twist. It's not bad, I could live with that. This one, not happy with it. It's um, significantly, 
The face is significantly closer to the face of the leg at the bottom than it is at the top. This is out by quite a bit. And I'm not happy with the gap that I got left here. Just putting the pieces together, that just did not work. So I, I don't like that. I could theoretically fill that in with some wood filler because this is a painted piece, but yeah, I just don't like it. This one is a complete disaster. So you can see how far out we are. And if you look at that leg, that leg just tilts in way beyond what could be repaired. So yeah, frustrating. But it's all a learning experience. That's how I'm looking at it. Tried a method, didn't work. Um, not that dowels are bad things, but perhaps my implementation here wasn't as good as it could be. So I'm going to look at a different way to assemble this. Uh, right now, I'm thinking of a floating tenon. But I'm going to consider other ways uh, to join these. I think in the short term, I'm going to wind up having to tear this apart, take the legs away from the face, and we'll try another tack. So having taken the um, legs and face apart, uh, I'm just kind of looking at what's, what's wrong with these bits that's causing me so much grief. <clears throat> and you can see right here, spacing on this is incorrect. So I, these cuts are not square. It's, there's a problem. The other thing I thought I'd do is how, how am I doing for square? And I notice at that end, we're actually really good. But as I move around the piece, we're good up until here. Now you can see that that is not at all square. And as I move on to this piece, you know, that's not square either. And it doesn't get much better as I move around it. So this piece, even at this end, we still have quite a gap there. So there's no way that that leg is going to be going perpendicular when the holes for it are based on this face, which is crooked. So between that and the fact that this is really not a perfectly round, sorry, this is not a perfectly round surface, I am thinking that these pieces should probably run through the arcs and get a perfect semicircle. So I'm going to start with that, see how we do. Uh, and then once we have this as a perfect uh, semicircle, and I can use that as my square, you know, a true edge, then we can start straightening up this joint on both pieces. And I think I'm working towards a uh, floating, um, tenon that'll join, run right through the legs and into each of these pieces. Now, I do have a little bit of tailstock that I've got to worry about that, that hangs off uh, this end on the other side of the, like the leg stands up here and there's that little bit of tail off the end. That's such a small piece. I'm not really worried about that. I could probably handle that with uh, some manual sanding, but I'm going to set this guy up on the arcs and get him cleaned up. So I decided to plane this off on the arcs to give this a nice uh, consistent curve only to discover that it's not going to work because this table is fixed height set for the uh, 14 inch curve, 14 inch radius that we were doing on the uh, Julia table. Uh, and this is a substantially smaller curve. I think it's about uh, 12 and three quarter. Uh, so upgrade to the arcs made an adjustable table so we can go up and down with that and now i just have to figure out how to mount the piece in here so as soon as i have that sorted out i'll be back and we can get started with uh fixing this on the with the arcs okay so I have this new jig for the arcs, which I think is going to serve us very, very well. However, the problem I've got 
is the spline on both pieces, you can see, is just really close to the surface. And that happens to be <clears throat> not the lowest spot, although it is a little flat here. It's actually a little lower over here. So I'm, if I take anything off this to try and straighten it up, I'm going to run into that spline and that'll just cause all manner of mess because there's going to be a hole in here and yeah, it's, it's no good. And I have a similar problem on this one. In fact, you can see that little mark there is the spline poking through. So yeah, I got a, got a big problem on my hands and um, I think it's back to the drawing board. Well, maybe not back to the drawing board, but I'm going to remake these curved pieces. You can just see as they sit there how warped those are. Uh, there's, there's just no hope of getting a leg to go straight off that, even with a tenon. So I'm going to uh, <clears throat> make a couple new pieces, a single join, and I'll make sure that the spline is a little bit closer to the inside edge if possible. And we'll try this, uh, try this again, but I will cut the curve on the arcs on this new modified jig. So a little bit of work to be done with the arcs. You'll, you'll see a couple little up upgrades here. And uh, yeah, some new pieces to be cut. So I'm gonna call that a video for today. A little disappointing, a little frustrating. Calling it back to the drawing board almost. Thanks for watching though. I really appreciate you coming along on this ride. Never give up, never surrender. See you on the next video.